Hello everyone and welcome to Fashion Designing Intermediate Course. My name is Nino Villa and I'm your instructor. In this course, we start with creating and working with something known as a yoke. What is a yoke? By definition, a yoke is the upper part of a garment that fits the shoulder area, if it's a top or a dress. However, a yoke can also be used on a skirt. One thing about yokes is that most of the time, there is no shoulder seam. See that? There's no shoulder seam. It continues all the way to the back, all in one piece. I'm gonna show you how to eliminate the shoulder seam. Here are some examples of yokes. I'm going to show you two ways, two techniques on how to create a yoke. First, I will drape a yoke for you, and then I will use pattern making to draft a yoke. Okay, so we'll need some muslin, we'll need scissors, and some pins. Uh, I've cut a piece of muslin about eight inches by eight inches, so it's a square. And here is the selvage. So the grain line of the fabric goes this way. And we're pinning it onto the dress form, onto center front. Now again, if all these words mean nothing to you, then you need to take my draping course so that you know what all these words mean. Grain line, selvage, bust line, and so on. Some students make the mistake of pinning your muslin like this and forgetting about the neckline and this neck area. So don't do this, okay? You need to start with three or four inches above the neckline and pin your muslin in a dress form like this with the pin going in this direction. What I mean by that is if, you, if I put the pin in the opposite direction, watch what happens, watch. If I put the pin going this way, what happens is the pin comes undone, the muslin comes off the form, and then you have to start all over again. So this is basic pinning. So pin your muslin onto the dress form in the correct way, this way, so it anchors the form. You see that? It's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna pin my center front. And now I'm going to take my scissors and from the neckline go up maybe an inch or so and watch what happens. You have to go cut in about an inch and then go upward. You're gonna cut in this direction like this. See how my scissors are going up this way so that I can then Take my scissors and cut downward onto the neckline, towards the neckline, like this, so that my muslin can fold nicely onto the dress form and create a smooth piece of muslin. Next, I'm going to mark my neckline. I'm going to use a Sharpie so you can see better, but you will use a sharp pencil. So I'm going to mark my neckline and where my neckline meets my shoulder and my shoulder seam and where my shoulder meets the armhole. Next we're going to create the actual style line, the yoke style line and <clears throat> this is really up to you to decide how big of a yoke you want. You could have a very narrow yoke or a very wide yoke. So it's really up to you as far as the length of it and also the shape of it. You could be, it could be a very simple straight across line or if you wanted a western look, you know, you can shape it into one of the, you've seen those western shirts that look like, kind of like that. Uh, but for this particular exercise, I'm just gonna keep it straight across it so that eventually when I take it off the form and make a pattern from it, I will end up with a yoke that looks like that. I'm doing the same thing for the back. I've cut a piece of muslin, pin my selvage, um, the grain line goes this way again, pin my center back, 
right? There's my neckline, my shoulder, armhole, and then the back yoke style line. All right, at the beginning of this video, I was showing you a shirt, a white shirt, where the yoke went from the front onto the back without a shoulder seam, right? How are we gonna eliminate the shoulder seam? I'm gonna show you that in the next class. When you do that, the grain lines get really crazy. It gets really interesting. I'll see you in this class.